this is something that I do uh, that I've changed over from recently, and it kind of helps with efficiency with marking up. So with <clears throat> curtain wall, I've got a couple templates for TNF anchors. Um, and so when I'll go through, after I'm done with the analysis for curtain wall anchorage, um, I'll just go in here to my template, modify these slightly, and then you can just copy them and then paste them onto like a uh, tile block. And then in the shop drawings, instead of spelling out, um, you know, everything of like use this many anchors at these locations, I'll just say reference detail T1 um, instead of having to type all that out and keep track of it all. And if something changes, then I can just come back to the sheet, change it here, and then it'll um, be a good reference. And I also do that for my like wind load clips. I've got like a welded top and bottom detail, a concrete anchor detail, and then a, a self-drilling screw detail into steel. So it's just been something that helps me. And if anyone wants some of these templates, just let me know and I can send them to you. Or I can they're available on the uh, the Asana. Uh, as attachments on the side of yeah things. yeah so it would probably be a good idea for us to start like a blue beam toolbox with those similar to what we've got for our fasteners mm -hmm. so now there's a few little like tnf tiny diagram things mm -hmm. in that box but stuff like that would probably be good to yeah you know, start a, another pile of just so we can, sure can, can you kind of do that uh, head that up get it into a blue beam uh, toolbox yeah well, i don't know if these pay can you do these pages as a toolbox? Um, the pages you can't, but if you group like your dimensions and that drawing, mm -hmm. then you can add that group to the toolbox. Oh, okay. And then people can just pull it out and explode it and edit it that way. Okay. Yeah, I could do that. Also, I have some other stuff in the toolbox that I use, like uh, standard skill shapes, like HSSs and yeah. stuff. So. Yeah, any any of that type of sharing back and forth that we can do to help save time, I think that's all good. Thanks, Ben. Mm -hmm. Is that called Blue Beam Toolbox? Yeah. Ben, can you save that into the server so I can check it out later today? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll figure out where the stuff is stored on the server and then I can message and let everyone know where it's at. Please, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey Ben, and I, I don't know if I hear it, I heard correctly. Is there a way to have this update the CAD file also? Um, so the, the whole reason why I do this is I used to do everything in CAD and it would just take too much time. Um, so yeah, I don't really have CAD files for any of this stuff. This has all been done in uh, Bluebeam. Oh, okay. But then you just copy this template on the CAD file like letterhead. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll just take this, copy all that, and then just go here, paste so, it, and then, uh, yeah. So he's doing everything in PDF, and not touching all of it. Yeah. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Just one word of caution for the newer engineers in the future that we get. Uh, you know how different manufacturers do have different F anchors and T anchors, so that can burn them. They yeah just something to be aware of for you know new, more experienced engineers that always check that of course but newer ones uh we just need to make them aware that the f anchors do change dimensions from what manufacturer to uh, to other manufacturers yeah that's a good point it's uh always to confirm the tnf anchor dimensions before you uh even within manufacturers they have different f anchors depending on the system depending on the system yeah when we're putting those into the mm -hmm. toolbox, the dimensions just put I'll just like an X or something. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we add just a note to the group or something. Yeah, I'll do that. So, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so just kind of piggyback on what he's talking about, with like T1 and F1 and stuff like that. Kind of another good efficiency thing. So this can make things much, much more organized and faster to do. So if you're using our summary table for calculating the anchors, use this design summary we've got down here, like design one, design two, and three. 
So like this project, I've got eight to 16 gauge, four to 18, and then two concrete anchors. If you use that same setup as your layouts for your anchors, call it T1, T2, T3, so they match your summary, that makes that infinitely easier to go tag things in the shop runs because you can just run down the list to see, okay, this detail, all these at the top are just one you want, so that's nice and easy. And just say, okay, T1 for all those, you got T3 for all those, your last one at the bottom for 18 is T2. You've got just your one sheet in the shop drawings, they have your anchors. Then you can just go run through the shop drawings and say, okay, wherever my permanent detail is. That location uses F2. You don't have to go repeat your call out for eight however many fasteners or six or two. It's much more organized and much easier to tag things. I used to take that <clears throat> one step further and I took that summary sheet that he just showed that showed all the diagrams and I threw that in the calcs. That way, uh, it's really easy to check your shops phases and like make sure your calcs match. So like I could go literally that page, that exact page of calcs, it was in my shop. And I had it all labeled very nicely in the summary sheets and then the cal in the shops the same way. So it makes it easier to check faster so you don't have any mistakes. Yeah. You can have this label that calls out quick flex eight, 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 eight. I like it. You know, it simplifies the notes that you know we have to have, you know, on each each of the details, you know, and keep it simple. But uh, that that way, you know, if there is a change, you don't have to go back and you know. Oh, does this one get it? You know, does this one get it? But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I gotta get rid of all this. <laughs> and make it. Yeah. Nice, nice efficiency tools. <laughs>